Hello everyone, welcome to our Confusion HCM training session. We are discussing about the absence management. Uh, on absence management, uh, we would be looking into one of the other uh, concept that is repeating time period today. It would be a quick session because the repeating time period concept is easy to understand and doesn't have much things to do in the system as well if you have to create the time periods for this. So repeating time periods, uh, like the name suggests, it's a time period which can be created. Uh, the generation that we can do is done continuously if we define it once. So when you create a time period, as of current date, uh, it is going to create the generate the time periods for next 10 years and before 10 years. Okay. So you would look for this time period time period under this section, which is uh, absence administration managed repeating time periods. You can look for that under my client groups, or you can also go to my uh, setup and maintenance and then look for managed repeating time periods task. So, so this five options that we are seeing is time card, approval, accrual processing, uh, overtime balances. What is this uh, five type is? It's a profile usage type based on what requirement I will need the time periods to be generated. I can check uh, this profile usage accordingly and then create the time periods. So let's go quickly into the system and see how this can be generated. So like I was saying, it can be created under absence, my client group absence task area. Under time periods, there is an option for repeating uh, to get, you know, to navigate to repeating time periods, or you could do it under setup and maintenance as well. I go to global search and then say repeating time periods. So uh, repeating time period, this is the business object under which you would be seeing this task. So let me create directly with the task. Okay, now let's create one under create repeating time period. So let me create a time period which would be a weekly Starting, we have some defined time period as well from our account. We can make use of that itself. So almost all combination is provided, but if the requirement is apart from what is given, we could uh, always create the new time period. So weekly starting um, Saturday. Now I would keep the same name. So the options that you would see in a repeating time period is name, what should be their time period name. So that same time period name that you give here can be associated at the different places that you attach this repeating time period. So where and all that you could attach this, it is based on what we check here. So now if I'm checking all of this, this repeating time period can be uh, used at all these places. That is time card. When I check this time card, uh, this is basically to determine at what intervals uh, you need the workers to submit their time card. So if it is weekly, check this time card as, uh, I mean, check this time period as just time card and then say if it is weekly, monthly, or semi-monthly based on the, uh, there isn't an option called as daily. You don't allow employees to submit the time cards daily. So these are the three options that you have. And approval is when, um, like at what intervals you want this uh, uh, workers to approve time. So this is based, uh, when you create this time period under approval, this time period can be available at the time consumer set option. The, there you will have to navigate and there's an option for approval where you would be able to associate this time period there. So when you associate this as a, let's say I'm going to define it as a weekly, every weekly, uh, this would be um, a date range that you gave it to approve is 
that you have to submit uh, approve the time card based on weekly basis and uh, the time card option you would be able to attach this time period that you create for time card under the workers profile uh, processing See, similarly uh, for even overtime as well we can uh, create this under i mean you can associate the time period that you create under workers uh, time processing profile uh, why is this time card and overtime created differently is because if in case the requirement of time card generation and overtime generation if it is different then we create it separately you can just select it for overtime and then create it for overtime if you see you only see daily and weekly you don't see monthly options so based on the selection that we make here the options for period type also varies so now that we are only using for accrual processing, accrual processing is when, when you create an absence plan, you associate this repeating time period there. Uh, for balances, it is at the time uh, balanced uh, dimensions. Uh, if you navigate there, when you select this, you would be able to uh, associate the time period that you create for balances. So this is basically uh, to determine the date range of the balance accumulation. So in every pay period, if I have want to add certain hours to a worker's profile, I could create this and then create time period. So accrual processing is to determine the date range or the interval during which the workers accrue the time. Okay, if it is, uh, but for accrual processing, you see all options that is daily, monthly, semi monthly, weekly. Daily, I want uh, certain hours to get accumulated. In that case, I can select daily. Every day, it will be generated, the time period will be generated, and then it starts uh, accruing uh, time on a daily basis. So now I'll say this is weekly, and I want this to be done on every week, one week. So you could give the sample date. So I'll say every uh, from starting 10th of uh, December 2022, uh, I'll have to create this time period. When you create this, so after 10 years and before 10 years from the current date, it will generate the time period. And if you want to preview how this is uh, generated, uh, I'll say preview start date is from this. And then this, you can preview the time period that gets generated. So if you see here on every Saturday from 10th to 16th, 17th to 23, every Saturday to one week, it has uh, calculated the time period. And this is how, if you click on save and close, this time period will be generated for this time period, for the defined time period. So that was about the repeating time period, which is an easiest concept. But uh, we should be very cautious about what time period we create and what is the sample date that we uh, give when we create the repeating time period. That was about the today's session. If you have any questions on this topic, you can drop your comments. I shall try answering those. Um, so I'll meet you in the next important session of the absence management. Until then, see you. Bye-bye.